Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to do a tutorial on the grapevine wreath with uh, a flag, swag in the center of the wreath. Um, I've watched a lot of different tutorials and some of them use flags. I have chose not to because I don't want to um, have issues with destruction of the flag. So I have actually made my own out of fabric. This particular one has the constitution printed on the material. The eagle here and we have more down here, the star in the center. The one that I am going to do the tutorial on will be a little different because I don't have the same supplies as I did when I made this one. But anyway, I'll get everything gathered together and get started. Okay, so we're going to start with an 18 inch grapevine wreath. These I bought from Hobby Lobby and they were actually very clean. I didn't have to pick out leaves, moss, whatever you might find in there, pine needles. I've trimmed off a few pieces to make it a little easier to work with, but for the most part it was ready to go. This one has more of an oval shape. Each one's a little different. I prefer the oval shaped. That's just me. But so the the center piece. I'm using fabric panels, and I have actually made up several different types of material, and I'm going to list them in my. Etsy shop. I'll leave all of that in the links and you can purchase those there. The tutorials that I have watched, you can't find the centerpiece that they use. They're very limited. And they were probably older videos as well, so maybe they are not even out there anymore. Okay, so I'm going to have the, the thinner part of the wreath this way. And you'll wrap with fabric. And this piece was approximately, I want to say, 10 feet long by 20 inches wide. That's approximate. Okay, so I'm going to tuck under the edges in the front and the back to hide the seam. And of course you'll want it a little longer underneath here. This, this part needs to be longer. I love that the center of this is the eagle is actually going to be right in the middle. So we want to get the pleat so that you can hopefully still see him. It's got the constitution printed on here. I love this fabric. It would actually make a very pretty quilt. Okay, so that's approximately where you want it. Gather the underside. Now, you can place this anywhere you want on here. Of course, you'll want the wreath to hang straight. So you may want the gathering to be angled down this direction. I've got a little more on top than I wanted there. Now you want this longer down here so you can have it hanging down. Okay, I'm going to wrap the top piece underneath the bottom. Flare out your fabric. I've seen it done both ways. You can actually make a knot there. Uh, 
I prefer to leave it open like this. I like that look better. Make sure you've got it where you want it. And this is where we can have some issues with the, the stragglers on the grapevine. You may have to trim a little more off of yours. I picked some up in Joanne's fabric yesterday and they are going to need a lot of cleaning. Nice wreaths, so they had nice shape to them. Okay, I'm going to have to try and hide the seam here. So for this part, you could use a zip tie. Uh, maybe a pipe cleaner. I'm going to use jute. Seems to be very strong. I haven't had any problems with other things I've done with it. I'll grab my scissors. This knot will be covered with um, your bow and embellishments, so you don't really need to worry that it's not going to look right. It's just hard to get it in the right spot. I actually have to come up from the inside. There we go. Tie it there. You want to keep this tight. You let any slack in it and you're going to have some some problems. And you need to keep the bottom layer and the top lined up. If you pull ta your tail pulled. Tie a square knot. I'm going to leave the tails on there in case uh, there might be something I you could actually tie the bow on with that. So I'm just gonna leave those hanging. Okay, so, so far I like what we have. So I went ahead and made up the bow for this wreath. It's a pretty lengthy process and probably too long for this tutorial. Maybe I could do a separate one on bow making, although there's a lot of those out there already if you just search it on YouTube. Anyway, I was in Joann's yesterday and they had all of their patriotic ribbon. It was either 40 or 50% off, so I stocked up. This is what I use to make my bows. It's the Easy Bow Maker. I purchased this on Amazon. Very handy tool. Um, I will make up some of these bows and have these available on my Etsy site as well. And I'll add all of those details to the video. I always like to put something in the center of my bows to hide the knot. The one that I, the wreath that I showed earlier had, it was actually a Christmas ornament that I'd used, star shaped, and I just took off the red berries and the pine and used that. I search all year long for different things that I can use on wreaths. This one, I had some rusty bells that I think really tie in with the colors on the, the fabric that I used. So each bow will be a little different. Okay, so this is where I said you can hide that knot. You don't really want your tails too much longer than, than the fabric tail. I think these are probably just about right. They're dovetailed at the bottoms. I like the dovetail. 
and you just tie this on here. There's so many different things you can do. You just have to get creative. A lot of the colors this year I've noticed for 4th of July Patriotic are the bright reds and blues, and I prefer the more rustic reds and dark blues. So I haven't found a lot of accessories this year that worked for me. Luckily I had quite a few on hand already, so you just have to purchase things when you see them, I guess. I always tie several knots, you don't want it coming undone. Trim your tails. a little bit to get everything where it's supposed to be. And the only other thing I will do is add some. I also got these in uh, Joann's and they were on sale and they match the colors very well. So I just trim them down. Leave enough stem to poke in between your grapevines. I love working with the pit berries. You can bend them, twist them. I even like to curl them sometimes. And of course you will use hot glue. I just use my hot glue gun. I don't have that plugged in right now, so I'll just show you where I put them. There. Cover the bare part of the wreath. Put one at the top. And one at the bottom. I'm just going to make sure that the stars are facing up. Pretty nice. You can add whatever else you'd like to. I've got this. I just don't really care for the silver with the rust, so I don't think I'll use that. And you can either add a hanger up here. I use jute for that too. Or you can just slide this down into your wreath hanger and hang it from that. So anyway, I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. And also keep your, you can make these longer if you wanted to, I guess. I could cut some longer. Personally, I don't like the long tail. I prefer it short. It won't be getting caught in your door and whatnot. Okay, well, thank you for joining me for this fun tutorial. I had fun with you. Uh, please like and subscribe my video, or subscribe to my video. And... We'll be back for another one soon. Thank you.